What's up, boxing fans? This is TBE Boxing back at you again. Today's topic is Teofimo Lopez really undisputed, or is it just a publicity stunt? What about Devin Haney's world title? Let's chop it up and see what it's all about. On a block with the pole, huh? That's lucky for riches, huh? That's lucky for riches, huh? Pretty rich on me titties, huh? And I got the glazy run up on me. I'ma make you get it. I'ma make you get it. Okay, boxing fans. Let's chop up some boxing today. So we're gonna talk about this Teofimo situation, his claim to be undisputed, and you know, we're gonna find out if that is fact or reality. So uh, you know, shout out to Teofimo Lopez, okay? Uh, I saw him on Punch Junk Box Boxing uh, tonight. Uh, shout out to uh, Punch Junk Boxing. And he was on there, you know, he came on after uh, Bill Haney was on there talking about, you know, uh, the fight that was supposed to happen between uh, Haney and Teofimo, uh, you know, and the, the Camboso situation. So uh, after that, Teofimo came on there and was talking, you know, about uh, himself and about the Camboso situation. And he talked about a lot of different issues. But the bottom line is, you know, uh, he's claiming that he's undisputed and he has been claiming that for a while now. But, you know, I think it's time for us to, you know, uh, nip that whole undisputed situation in the bud and, you know, uh, you know, talk about it and chop it up because is he really undisputed? Okay. And now, uh we're gonna get to that but i just want to say one thing you know uh people you know there's a lot of people out there that they that claim that you know people are hating on teofimo because you know this or because of that i'm not one of those guys i'm not hating on teofimo uh i didn't think he was going to win the title against lomachenko but he did and so i gave him full credit for that well he took his credit i didn't, I didn't give it to him he took it he earned it so it is what it is uh that being said, you know, him beating Lomachenko, which is a great thing. Uh, he did a great job. Nobody can take it away from him. Okay. And, you know, kudos to him and congratulations. He did it, you know, his way. And he did it when a lot of people didn't think he was going to do it. So, you know, uh, that was a great accomplishment. And nobody can ever take that away from him. It, that's going to go down in the history books. Now, that being said, again, the thing is, is Teofimo undisputed? Uh, you know, that's what we were here to find out. You see where I say that, no, uh, Teofimo is not undisputed. And that's clear. I'm being clear about that. I'm not, you know, mixing any words. I'm not, you know, uh, biting my tongue. I'm just saying it loud and clear. Teofimo is not undisputed. And so we're going to go right to the videotape. We're going to go to the, you know, uh, we're going to get to the facts right away. We're not going to waste a lot of time. Let's check it out. The meaning of undisputed in English. There it is, undisputed, an adjective. If something is undisputed, everyone agrees about it. An undisputed fact, the undisputed champion, winner. Synonyms, meaning words that are similar to undisputed, unchallenged, unquestioned. Let's go over that again. The meaning of undisputed in English, undisputed. I don't know about Spanish, but this is English. Undisputed. If something is undisputed, everyone agrees about it. An undisputed fact. The undisputed champion or winner. Synonyms. Unchallenged. Unquestioned. Now, one thing is undisputed that we can understand from this meaning right here. One thing that is undisputed is that Teofimo is not undisputed. That is undisputed. So, Going around calling himself undisputed, you know, is doing a disservice and he's making a mockery of, 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 of boxing and he's making a mockery of what undisputed actually means. Because it goes without saying that if you have another world champion out there in your same sanctioning body, you know, uh, in your same division, how could you be undisputed? It doesn't make any sense. Okay. So. Yeah, you know, you are unified, but you're not undisputed, okay? So, and again, everyone does not agree that Teofimo is undisputed. There's a lot of dispute about it. Let's just say that, okay? 
it's, it's, it's not unchallenged. People challenge his undisputed status. And it's not unquestioned because I'm questioning it. And the fact that Devin Haney's out there with a world title questions his, his, questions his undisputed status. So, I mean, you know, it's not even close. He's not undisputed in no way, shape, or form. So it is what it is. So, I mean, uh, you know, you could say what people could say, okay, well, you know, TBE, you're just hating, you know, uh, but you can't say, you know, I, I just gave you the meaning of undisputed. And so based on that alone, you could, you know, you, you're going to see, you, you can see for yourself. So, but you could say, okay, uh, uh, man, you know, yeah, he's undisputed. Uh, TB, he just hating. All right, let's go to, let's go to, uh, Google. When you go, when you Google Teofimo Lopez, this is what you get. Teofimo Andres Lopez Rivera is an, un, is an American professional boxer. He is the current unified lightweight world champion champion having held the ibf title since 2019 and the wba wbo ring magazine title since defeating lomachenko in 2020. there it is in black and white i didn't write that okay i i mean i guess you're gonna say google or wikipedia is you know hating on teofimo i i i mean some people will, will go go so far to say that oh yeah they're just hating on teofimo but the facts are the facts so we can't just make up our own facts, okay? And this is what people are doing. They're making up their own facts. And no one is making up their own facts more than Teofimo Lopez. So he's going around right now. I saw him on Punch Drunk, like I said. He's, he's, he's making a T-shirt uh, saying that, oh, a uh, nice-looking T-shirt, by the way, saying that uh, he's undisputed. I mean, what? Every chance Teofimo gets, he goes around saying, oh, I'm undisputed. I'm the king of the division. Well, you're the king of the division, but you're not undisputed. There's another king out there, and his name is Devin Haney. Okay? So in order for you to become undisputed, you have to take out that king, and then you become undisputed, and then you are the king of the division, so to speak. Okay? The undisputed king of the division, which you're not right now. So Teofimo, you know, I don't care what people out there are saying. They can say what they want to, but the facts are the facts. And I just show the facts. I deal in facts. I don't deal in wishful thinking. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to sugarcoat anything for anybody. I mean, you know, uh, it's great. You know, I saw a punch junk, you know, uh, when, he, when, and punch junk, you know, when Bill Haney was on there, Bill Haney asked him, asked punch junk about, you know, uh, did Teofimo ask for the franchise position? Okay, you know, uh, Punch Junk tried to bring it back. Oh, the WBC gave him that. But yeah, but they didn't just give you a uh, franchise. You have to ask for it. And, they, and he asked for the franchise status. Okay, so he, he requested that. Teofimo requested the franchise status. It is what it is. Don't try to say, oh, it's the WBC that's doing it. Okay, uh, you have to request it. And he requested it. And he said, that's how he got the franchise status. So, you know, you know, I like uh punch junk he's a great guy but i mean you know i don't know what's going on i mean you know if you're gonna be fair then be fair don't you know try to push one agenda you know uh you know this whole agenda that teofimo is somehow you know he's the king of the division he's undisputed because even punch junk had to admit that devin haney is a world champion so if you're a world champion in the same division how can teofimo be undisputed and now let's talk about you know the wbc saying that his belt is below uh the franchise belt or below whatever belts that teofimo have it doesn't really make any it doesn't make any difference what wbc is saying okay the fact of the matter is that you, they have another world champion out there the wbc world champion is devin haney and so teofimo can't be undisputed as long as devin haney's out there holding on to that belt okay so I hear, you know, I mean, like again, shout out to Teofimo and shout out to Devin Haney, shout out to Bill Haney. Now I see Teofimo out there, you know, uh, when he was on there, you know, talking about this and that. Because a lot of people was, you know, hitting him up and saying, oh, you're not undisputed, you're not undisputed. And he was talking about people hating and this, that, and the other. But I mean, the reality of the situation is that, I mean, I'm sure he, every, every boxer has their haters, okay? But, you know, it is what it is. But the bottom line is that, you know, Teofimo claiming to be undisputed is just rubbing salt in, in the wound of a lot of people who doesn't really think, uh, you know, that is all that in the first place. And to be claiming undisputed when you're not undisputed doesn't really help your situation at all. 
okay and you know uh the idea that you're gonna you know and i and i hear too people talk about he's like he, he he wants to be like the old school fighters he he's doing it like the way they did it in the old school now just imagine this do you think that if, he, if this is what he's claiming and you know if that's true he's trying to do it like in the old school days do you think that anybody from the old school who was not undisputed would make up a t-shirt saying and going around saying that they that they're undisputed do you think they would be calling themselves undisputed or uh, much less even go so far as to make up a t-shirt going around saying undisputed when they know they're not undisputed i mean that's they would never do anything like that old school would never do that that it would be a mockery they, they would be making a mockery of, of boxing and that's what teofimo is doing by promoting and this publicity stunt about himself being undisputed it's a publicity stunt it's not reality okay so i mean the fact that he's doing that just tells me that you know he's, he's insecure about his position okay and he wants to be considered undisputed without actually doing the work of becoming undisputed and that's what it is okay and i mean i'm, I'm just gonna say it like it is uh you know i know he came on punch junk's child and punch junk was up there you know oh yeah you know punch junk didn't ask any tough questions he just basically you know uh you know gave him the easy route you know i mean i'm not saying he's supposed to embarrass the guy or ask him a lot of you know crazy questions but you could at least you know uh ask a good question instead of just sitting there just yes him yes in the man to death and you know you know uh fanning him fanboying him to death you know punch, you know punch junk i mean come on you sound you you almost like one of those ldbc guys but a spanish version basically when you were in that article i mean in that interview you know what I'm saying? You're not asking any kind of questions. You was asking Bill Haney a tough question, but you're not saying nothing about, you're not saying nothing to uh, uh, Teofimo. Then you had all these guys on, came on, he let these other guys, HLD, uh, uh, rap, so your biggest rap star, uh, uh, some other guy, oh, a rap star came on, I'm your biggest fan, Teofimo. I'm your biggest fan. Yeah, yeah, Teofimo, I'm your biggest, I mean, what the hell? I mean, then right the HLD came on there. I mean, I, I've been on the I've been on the, the panel with these guys before. Okay, all these guys I just mentioned: rap star, HLD, punch junk. Okay, and you know to see these guys just turn into little fan girls right in front of my eyes was kind of embarrassing, really. Oh, you know, uh, HLD came on. Oh, you doing you doing a tear female? I mean, yeah, I mean, you can give the guy kudos for doing what he's doing because he's accomplishing a lot at 23 years old and nobody's going to take it away from him, like I said. That's going down in the history book. But you don't got to become a fangirl because he comes on your show, on your YouTube channel, or because you get a chance to say something to the guy on on, on, on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? You can all of a sudden you turn into a fangirl. I mean, it's it's embarrassing, man. I, you know, I, I mean, come on, guys. I mean, next time we get on the panel together, I'm going to bring it up. Okay, stop the fanboyism and the fangirlism. You guys, need, you know, can do better than that. Okay, but anyway, so now I had a lot of high hopes for Teofimo. Okay, when he first came on, you know, when he first won the titles, you know, the unified titles, you know, he was talking a lot of stuff. He was out there saying, "Yeah, you know, and this is how you do it." And you know, I want, I want to fight all comers. I want to take on everybody. I want to fight. Devin Haney, I want to fight Tank. I want to fight all these guys right away. I don't want to wait around. I'm not going to be waiting around to fight. I want to fight these guys immediately. I'm ready. These guys need to fight each other. And let, we all need to fight each other. That's what he was saying. But now, you know, uh, he got a taste of the silk sheets. Okay. And it feels good to be king. <laughs> okay. So. He doesn't want to give up that kingship anytime soon and take a chance of losing his position as a king right now. So I mean, hey, look, look, let, let, let me let's be clear about one thing, okay? I, I understand the situation, okay? You know, you work hard all your life, you know, uh, you become you get to the position where you wanna be, you know, you talk a lot of smack to get there, okay? You you know, when you get when you get the when you get it, you're excited and drilling is thrown and you're talking a lot of you know a lot of sh you know a lot of stuff you're talking a lot of smack okay you ready to take on the world but after a couple of days a couple of weeks you know maybe a couple of months when everything's starting to sink in and you realize hey you know i'm the unified champion of the world and then you look around you and you see all these threats out there to your unified position you know the Devin haney's of the world and the guys like that you're saying to yourself damn 
you know i don't you know it's i i i don't know maybe i i shouldn't just rush out there to fight these tough guys and i you know i couldn't end up losing my my position i, I it wasn't easy to get and i kind of like it up here okay i kind of like it up the top so maybe I, i'm not gonna just go ahead and you know try to uh rush out and, and go and fight the best right away maybe i should just get some you know some little fights here make some money hold on to this as long as i could because you know it wasn't easy getting here i'm not gonna i'm not just gonna go out there and risk it you know just like that i understand that okay that's understandable that's that's just human nature okay but at the same time don't go around claiming that you undisputed okay uh on top of all of that okay because we can see what's going on i can see anyway i don't know about the rest of these people but i can see what's going on okay so uh, you know we gotta be clear about something you know people you know i'm not here you know uh teofimo talking about oh uh people need to earn their stripes and you know he wasn't saying that when he, he before he got the title or when he just got the title he wasn't really saying that he was saying he was going to take all comments but all of a sudden now you know people he, they got to earn it they got to they're gonna have to wait three four five years so uh we see what he's trying to do but again you know we got to be clear about one thing Devin Haney isn't just coming, he's no, you know, hurry come up guy who just want to, you know, take advantage or, or try to piggyback like uh, Teofimo is trying to say, people trying to piggyback. And that's what people are saying. You know, that's the news talking point. People trying to piggyback off because they want to fight you. They're piggybacking. I, I mean, what, what, are you, what, what are you talking about? You're the champion. Of course, people are going to want to fight you. They want the titles. Okay. So, you know, or Devin Haney, you know, uh, you know they want handouts what, what are you talking about handouts you're the champion people are gonna want to fight you that's not a handout to fight the guys that are challenging you okay i mean Devin Hayes is making more money than you even though you, you're the unified champ he's still making more money than you so what kind of handout are you talking about okay i mean you know we got to be clear about these things so again what i'm saying is that Devin Haney is not the guy who just because you got three titles, he decided he wanted to challenge you. Devin Haney wanted to fight you before you had the titles. He called you out before you even had any title at all. He's been calling you out since you've been coming up the ranks, and he's been coming up the ranks. He said he was ready to fight you back then. He was ready to fight all these guys, but they don't want to fight him. Okay? So, I mean, you know, uh, to say now that, oh, if somebody's looking for a handout, or they have silver spoons, or whatever you want to say, you know, I, I, you know that's just a talking point. You know, I don't have no respect for that. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, the bottom line is I think that uh, Teofimo doesn't want to fight Devin Haney because he understands that Devin Haney is a risk to his position and he could lose to Devin Haney. And he doesn't want to take that risk right now in his career, which I understand that. I, I perfectly understand it. I mean, I'm not, you know, I understand that position. But, you know, don't compound, you know, your town foolery by trying to claim that you undisputed on top of it and Devin Haney's out there and you don't want to fight him. Okay. You if, if you really undisputed, then fight Devin Haney then, if that's the case. Okay. I mean, look at the difference between, you know, what you're saying, what Devin, what uh uh Teofimo is saying and what uh Valdez, Oscar Valdez is saying. As soon as he got a title, what did he say? He said, Hey, you know, I hear uh, you know, uh of course Stevenson not there calling my name. And, you know, uh, I would like to have a fight with him because I don't want anybody to say I'm, I'm ducking. That's a big difference in what Teofimo is saying. Teofimo is not saying, oh, you know, I got Devin Haney and they're calling my name, so I want to fight him because he's ducking. He's talking about silver spoons and handouts and, you know, I'm undisputed and these guys got to earn their way. And I mean, what are you talking about earn your way? De uh, Devin Haney is a champion. He doesn't have to earn anything. He's a champion. He's calling you as, from champion to champion. When contenders got to earn their way. People got coming up the ranks got to earn their way to get to the title. But at Devin Haney, he's already a champion. He has earned his way already. He doesn't have to do any more earning, okay? If, if he, he calls you out, you claim that you're undisputed, then if you if you are really undisputed, then you're going to fight Devin Haney to prove it. Because now, once you beat Devin Haney, now you can claim undisputed. Until then, you know, you're just a unified champ, which is a lot in itself, but it's not undisputed. So stop with the nonsense about you being undisputed because you're not. And forget about making t-shirts claiming that you're undisputed because that's a fraud. Okay? And if you do that, you know, you're just making a mockery of boxing. So stop with the nonsense, Teofimo. Either fight Devin Haney or stop calling yourself undisputed. 
It's just as simple as that. Okay. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to really go too far into this, but all I can say is now I saw Valdez, you know, like I said, Valdez said he wants to fight, uh, uh, the course Stevenson. And, you know, I hope he, he wasn't just saying that in the heat of the moment, you know, because he just feeling good and he just got the title. But like I said, people, they usually do that. But then at the end of the day, when, you know, when they, they look at things in the cold, hard, sober light of reality, they usually change their mind and move on to something else. And then you got your team around you who say, oh, well, you don't got to fight this guy now. He's, he's a tough fight. Maybe you should fight somebody else first, get a couple of wins, you know, get a couple of defenses, make some dollars, and then maybe you can fight this guy down the line. So maybe that's what's going on with Teofimo. Uh, maybe that's what's going to go on with Valdez. I don't know, you know, but as far as I can see right now, he's calling, you know, he's saying that he's willing to fight uh, Shakur Stevenson, but we'll see what happens. But, you know, but they all say that when they get up there, you know, that I wouldn't fight anybody. Else. And then, like I said, in the cold, hard light of reality, they usually change their mind and, you know, try to hold on to their belt as long as they can. But it is what it is, people. So, uh, you know, that's, box that's boxing for you. You know, people, they can do that type of thing in boxing, you know, unlike the UFC where you know people gotta actually fight each other but again you know this whole teofimo is undisputed i mean i'm not taking nothing away from teofimo he has accomplished what he's accomplished but to say that he's undisputed is a mockery okay he is not undisputed stop saying that the man is undisputed stop you know uh blowing smoke about him being undisputed all you so-called fans and you fanboys out there stop with the nonsense teofimo you need to stop it you're not undisputed until you beat Devin Haney to become undisputed. And if you really want to be undisputed, then you take the fight with Devin Haney to prove to everyone that you're undisputed. Until then, you're the unified champ. Respect for that. But that's all you are. You're not undisputed. It is what it is. Uh, this is TBE. I'm not going to go any further. Like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the bell icon to get the best commentary. You're, you're not going to get this kind of commentary from nobody else because you got there's a lot of fanboys and fangirls out there, you know, uh, that have YouTube channels. And they, you know, as soon as a guy come on their channel, they forget about what they're doing and then they start fanboying them to death. You know, I mean, we see, we see it all the time. But, you know, again, it is what it is. That's life in general. But again, this is TB Boxing. That's all I have for now. I'm out.